Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to the Uta Macross tutorial video. So this time round, we're gonna talk about something that I should have talked about, you know, last month. But you know, scheduling things like that, free time, I just couldn't get together to do it uh, until now. So by the time you're watching this, I am actually recording this on the first of July, 2020, which is the first day of the well. The brand new rune song <laughs> appearing in Utan Necros. So yes, we're gonna talk about why we should actually play every event each month religiously. Uh, well, not to the extent of like going to top hundred tiering, but at a comfortable pace of just clearing all the rewards within each event itself. So. Yes, let's do that and with that, I'm going to just show you the results of doing so um, just from the Chaos Exchange alone. So last month's Zodiac Medals are still here. They don't expire until, well, late today. So the 1st of July um, at, you know, 11.59 hours so uh or rather that's the time period that you can actually attain the medals until so the expiration date is actually here on the pink one which is the 15th of july the 23 hour and 59 minute mark with basically the reset date for um the 15th of july all right so you go only until that time period to claim the zodiac medals before they become redundant and well basically your efforts throughout the whole month attaining them has gone to waste so um so yes why you should be playing religiously every event in each month is because well ever since dana has made it a lot more easier to uh, exchange for the you know exclusive chaos exchange five star episode plates um well it's basically that <laughs> there is no other better reason to play religiously because you need the zodiac medals to attain these five star zoda uh, episode plates within the chaos exchange and of course if you have extra zodiac medals you can get the super um, dimension gacha tickets as well which is great it means um, additional pools to help refresh your horrible luck within the month itself and of course try to attain those um, six star seven star episode plates that are within that gacha pool itself and of course you know aside from the brand new episode plates that were featured for that month like this like last month's was mirage um this month however we are I, let me just see i'm not sure who it is oh <laughs> we are getting arat so <laughs> okay so if you guys have not unlocked the valkyries that come with these episode plates so like this month we are getting the vf31 s um super pack version of arat's plane so if you've not unlocked it yet, if you're a new player, definitely this is one way of getting more Valkyries for your Valkyrie operations. And if you're an old player and you've already unlocked all these Valkyries that they are giving points for, don't slack off. Mainly because, well, after unlocking the Valkyries or any costumes for the Divas, Usually, what is given to you after you've attained another 1,200 uh, 1, points for the costume, you get a large episode off, which can be used to unlock a Valkyrie or a costume that you are lacking points for. So, that's the whole concept of why you should be playing each event religiously, you know, just clearing out the rewards, the main rewards, you know, um, that is given through the events reward system uh, aside from the ranking rewards you know because ranking rewards varies from person to person depending on what kind of episode plates they have within their collection and of course your smarts on knowing how to tackle each event every month um so yeah so if you guys need to know how to tackle each event the ticketing event 
um, the Kuchi event, the Red Boss event, then of course the High Score versus event. I have tutorial videos for such things. Go and check them out. They are in the Utah Macross tutorials playlist. Everything is there for you to go and study up on how to tackle Utah Macross. All right, so with that said, mainly because well, I'm gonna claim the episode plates um, with whatever remaining Zodiac medals I have right now. These are actually from, um, you know, the the rewards from the high score ranking. I guess no, no, not really. More of the events ranking system. They are either attained from the ranking system rewards, and of course the missions that 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 are distributed um, throughout each event itself. They they do give Zodiac medals as well. So, and of course, um, if you play the Red Boss events, um, you know that aside from the Red Boss. You know, medals, the Cho Ginga, which is Super Galaxy medals. Um, they do give out Zodiac medals as well as rewards for each Red Boss you defeat. So, if you've been working hard during the Red Boss event as well, you also benefit from the Zodiac medal exchange. Alright, so, you know, normally every month I would upload images of the exclusive. Um, episode plates that are within the chaos exchange for that month itself i will have like the fully evolved episode plate the pre-evolved image as well and of course the lower tier episode plates as well so you've got the five star versions then of course you've got the you know the four star versions so yeah so normally this is the status of how my chaos exchange is after i've uploaded those images and I've not claimed anything else extra. So these Zodiac medals that I have on hand here is basically me not touching the Zodiac medals until the end of the whole month. Then I'll just claim them all at one go and get those extra juicy episode orbs for costume unlocking later on. So here it is. I'm going to show you guys what I usually claim um, aside from, you know, the <laughs> Super Galaxy medals. Alright, Super Galaxy tickets. So many things to remember. Okay, <laughs> Super Galaxy tickets. I already claimed them. I already used them. I have tossed away my horrible luck and that's probably why I've gotten Melane's um, 6 star episode play and uh, Makina's <laughs> 6 star episode play as well. The bad luck is gone, but now it has returned because it's all down the drain from here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, so, okay, so, last time, you will only be able to see, um, well, basically just, when, when this was first introduced, you can only see one set of episode plates, um, the, of course, the 6 star set, the 5 star sets, and of course, the 4 star sets, then there will be nothing below that except well, the resources that you can claim. So basically, you have your large luck stone, your small luck stones, and so on and so forth. So ever since they have changed this um, in the month of uh, May, yeah, May was the initial start of this, where Dana made things a lot easier to exchange. So in the past, a copy of the five star episode plate um, would cost you 40,000 was it 40,000 or was it 13,000 I can't really recall but it was a buttload of Zodiac medals so if you didn't work hard at the end of the month you wouldn't be able to completely evolve the 5 star episode plate to a 6 star and at the same time collect the fully evolved version of the 5 star episode plate and of course the fully evolved version of the 4 star episode plate as well now they have made it so easy you know a single copy of the brand new 5 star episode plate only costs 15,000 zodiac medals so and they have two copies here ready to completely claim at this cost 
there are five more copies of the same episode played at 20,000 Zodiac Medals. So, basically, with this amount of Zodiac Medals, I can gain another five more copies of this five-star episode played, which will make this episode played a plus five luck episode played. So, if you guys are new players, this is one way you can get a high-scoring episode played easily without spending too much on gachas. So, yeah, so let me just show you guys what I mean right now by doing so. So I already have a fully evolved 5 star of this episode plate of Mirage. So I'm just going to purchase the rest of the 5 episode plates right here. There we go. Okay, and yeah, let's go to the episode plate page. We're going to power it up. And here you can see for yourself, I will have easily gotten, uh, well, a 6 star episode plate with a plus 5 blood value. There we go, the secret board extending out. So here it is, I'm going to drag all the way to the end and power it up to its maximum, well, not really the maximum, but Minimum requirement to have all the luck notes appear. So there we go. And there we go, we have the animation for the luck notes appearing. And that's the full 5 leaf clover right there. Ready for us to power up with the luck stones that we have in our arsenal. So yes, I have yet to make a video <laughs> explaining luck on an episode plate which I should have done years ago but like I said uh, timing and scheduling just did not go uh, right and I guess explaining this first is actually more crucial um, than you know having the luck value explained as you can tell if you power up um, each note um, a special effect is given to the episode play. So, <laughs> alright, I won't explain that. That will be for another video. <laughs> so yes, so if you guys want the most minimum, um, well, free episode play for high score achieving, this is how you do it. Basically, religiously play every event each month to attain as much Zodiac medals as you can to attain a plus 5 luck value 6 star episode plate. Now, for this episode plate of Mirage, well, I don't really explain the effects of um, the free chaos exchange episode plates anymore. In the past, I did because someone requested it. Uh, I think it was Allison. Yeah, so she requested it and I did break down the chaos exchange episode plates for a time period, but you know. Uh, eventually, there are just too many better plates out there than the Chaos Exchange episode plates. So, I wouldn't really want to focus on it. So, that's one of the reasons why I stopped doing it. So, here we go. Um, the, the total value on the 6 star episode plates you can get from the Chaos Exchange is pretty decent. They are now on par with the mid-tier episode plates that Uta Macross currently has. You know, uh, once they have introduced the 7-star episode plates, these... This total score used to be the best, but now they are not. <laughs> so, they have kind of dropped down to a middle-tier range, but, you know, having this amount of total score as a free episode plate is still pretty good. So, yeah. Alright, so... As usual, you know, the free episode plates tend to have very funky skills attached to them. Usually a mixture of a lot of stuff. Uh, like this one has like a unit's total and support is boosted by 20% up. And of course, you have your active skill. So, like you see, usually the free chaos episode plates don't tend to have active skills that boost um, high score with the active button. 
So this one has that 20 seconds, you will have uh, easier time tapping notes. Then live skill S rank as well, so you've got a score up. So it's a high score achievement, live skill, then boost short duration songs. So that's pretty okay. Then of course, you know, usually the free plates don't have any special notes attached to them. So yeah, but if you guys aren't fussy with like um, meta episode plates, plates that really get you those very good high scores, 6 million, 7 million. Um, there are even hard whalers out there who have already broken the million barrier. They have gone into the billion, <laughs> billion high scores. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's how crazy Utah and Cross is right now with the, the 7 star episode plates. Then of course we have like um, really good 6 star episode plates with 3,800 total high score that comes with uh, high score note attached to it and of course uh, those insane live skills attached to it as well so yeah but like i said if you guys are free to play players you shouldn't be fussy this is probably the easiest way you can get a, a six star episode plate with a plus five luck value that you can get very you can get very good high scores once you have powered up um, the luck note to its maximum so you have to slot in five large luck stones in there which is very costly to be honest because luck stones the large ones aren't very easy to come by if i were to show you my personal amount of luck stones that i have right now and i can honestly tell you i have not been using them at all um i don't have a lot of it so here we go i only have 22 large luck stones and yeah, I basically used all my, you know, most of my pieces, my shards, my fragments, whichever one you call it by, to already claim all the luck stones that I can get. So, 22 for 3 years. I mean, okay, let's, let's talk about the amount of episode plates that I have. Kira 5. <laughs> so yes, ever since Uta Macross, has been updated um, once you have fully powered up all five notes of on an episode plate it will go into a kira kira mode so let's just show you guys what i mean uh, there we go so these are the only episode plates that i have kira five means that all five luck notes are already filled up so four episode plates that means a total of 20 large luck stones used alongside with the 22 that i have on hand that's still not a lot of luck stones so like i said it is definitely the easiest and the cheapest means of getting a six star episode plate at a plus five luck value but to sacrifice the large luck stones on these three episode plates uh, it's kind of a pinch <laughs> so that's why I decided not to break down the chaos exchange episode plates anymore because it just doesn't make sense to fully power up a six star episode plate that isn't that uh, I would say beneficial in the large extent but you know it is the cheapest way of getting a plus 5 Kira episode plate that can help you inch a bit further in your high score achievements that eventually will improve your Uta grade and all that kind of stuff. You know, you see everything in Uta Macros kind of links together. So work hard, play a bit more, you know, you don't have to go too crazy on the ranking. Uh, I for myself no longer aim for top 100. I probably the most comfortable I will go is maybe top 500 and if I get a bit of lazy um, top 1000 will do <laughs> so yeah but recently uh, I have kind of put it a uh, thing where um, you know I definitely must get within top 1000 for the first event of the month which is the ticketing event then of course the Kuji event um, the second event of the month I will 
push myself to at least go for the gold medal, um, which is list 15 if I'm not wrong. Um, so try to claim all the way because then if you have a bit more energy and a bit more effort, um, try to get those uh, secret stone fragments from the rest of the list that's available. I think the last list is list 18 or 20, I can't remember. But yeah, then the raid boss events really depends on the, which part of the world you are and how often you can play. But you know, make sure you, you at least the most minimum I would say for my standard is to clear out all the ethers that is given to you free um, you know through the raid boss event lobby um, then of course the daily missions that kind of stuff then of course if you can use those macross cannon chargers the captain medals to charge up your macross cannon chargers as well I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying without a visual aid because it's going to be very difficult to compile everything together in this video if I were to explain each event. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I have to wait each week just to get some kind of recording footage but I want to try to get this out as quickly as possible so I, I hope you guys understand why this video feels a bit lazy in a way. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, um, I'm going to just show you guys what I mean an example of the best effort uh, or rather the, the minimum effort you should be pacing yourself right now um, just clearing out all the rewards from the event so I'm gonna soften the volume here for the game because music's you know copyright so we're gonna lower the volume here for the the game audio and yeah we're gonna go into the current event and we're going to take a look at the event rewards. So in the past, all my tutorial videos, I will recommend you to clear, you know, the last red box. That's it. But ever since they have changed things up, now you can actually get two copies of the five star episode plate. Um, that should have been your minimum set of efforts now. Uh, but... Let's push things a bit further because of the wonderful rewards you can get from the Chaos Exchange every month now uh, considering that everything got discounted and you can get multiple copies of them and with all the reasoning I gave earlier this entire list should be your minimum <laughs> so yes uh, if you find yourself unable to do so I, I think you should really consider working a bit harder especially especially if you are a free to play player but if you are pay paying player i guess you don't really have to go that far you know the bare minimum is probably the rare up star shot and that's it the, the last few zodiac medals you can kind of forget it <laughs> and stay lazy throughout the rest of the event so yeah so and that's it guys play Utah Macross religiously throughout each month um, you know considering that how generous Dana has been to make things a lot easier and a lot more friendly for those free to play players out there um, even if you didn't get the main episode plates from the gachas itself um, there is still a way you can actually enjoy the game and reap all the benefits that Dana has put out for you to claim. Just put in a bit more effort and yeah, things will ride smoothly just like for myself. If I didn't play smart, I guess I wouldn't be able to update my YouTube Facebook page with all the wonderful, wonderful content like episode play images, you know, all the kind of stuff for you guys to enjoy so anyway guys thank you guys for joining me on another uh, pretty kind of long-winded tutorial video um, but it's it's something that it needs to be talked about uh, if you guys agree with what I said let me know in the comments down below and yeah hit that like button as well of course if you guys are not subscribed to the channel just yet 
please hit the subscribe button for more content like this and and you know debates uh, explanations you know teachings on why you should do things this way in Uta Macross and probably maybe adjust your gameplay style a little bit more to suit uh, you know, getting the full extent and rewards from the game itself especially if you're a hardcore Macross fan like myself but you still want to play the game in a bit of a lazy manner play smart <laughs> until then guys thank you guys so much for watching and joining me once again if you guys watch all the way through and listen all the way through you guys are very awesome <laughs> until then another tutorial video I guess soon bye